Much like my younger self, Ravi came from a small town, Ludhiana, to Delhi to become a photojournalist, a good photojournalist. Ravi was someone who was never seen uh, without his smile or his camera and uh, every time he greeted you, no matter how agitated or overworked you were or you know whatever you were going through, there was no other way of responding to it other than by smiling back at him. Every reporter wanted to work with him and I wish I had several Ravi to send for assignments with each of them. When uh, Virinder Seva had announced his retirement, we had gone on the assignment, it was a long day and nothing was going our way. Ravi with his own little charming ways, you know, spoke to the locals there, got all the right thing, got the right frame for, for him as, as a photographer. So Ravi Kanojia was a very simple perfectionist. It, it didn't matter to him whether it was a Ranji Trophy game, IPL fixture or Sachin Tendulkar's last game. His process remained the same and his hunger and drive to get the best frame for the match report or a feature or an analysis. It was just, just very inspiring the way he used to go about on the field, getting that extra shot and something which, which we wouldn't find on other publications. What I remember most about Ravi is his ability to get things done. He used to climb to all crazy places, get like angles which no one even th thought of getting. Uh, that was that was typical Ravi. He really loved clicking pictures for the sports desk. The only reason that we could really carry his pictures big and he would really look forward to the sports assignments. But there was this one thing about the first edition. The first edition deadline, he would always meet. He would come rushing. He would give a call saying that, please, please, please take my picture for the first edition. So one day I asked him, why is it Ravi? Why do you insist on the first edition? So he told me it's because the first edition goes to Lodhiana. And when you put my picture in the first editions, my parents get a chance to have a look at it. I remember those things and it's really touching and on that day when I saw the first edition it had Ravi's picture on page one. Oh I couldn't control myself it was really really a... Ravi did a lot of voluntary video work for us and I feel immense appreciation for that. He applied his brilliant photography skills there too and I think only someone who is so passionate and understands the power of stories that a camera can tell would embrace this new challenge with a smile like that. Ravi's work is an inspiration for us all. It makes you want to strive for excellence and I'd say it makes him immortal. Nabrangpur was uh, Ravi's last big assignment and so when we were there um, I would ask him if he was hungry because we had to travel a lot and he would say, no, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. What struck me about uh, Ravi was how professional he was uh, in the most difficult situations and, and, and we, we, he once had to drive a car through a road that didn't exist almost. It was, uh, it was a completely dug out road and he, he took over from the driver. The driver said he couldn't drive any further and he just drove the car and he did all of it smilingly. He, he, he never complained once. He had been transferred from Ludhiana to Delhi and since then 2009 to 2016 seven years we became great friends we became great colleagues we did so much we saw so much of things that happened in this country we documented them we became pals he made me a Punjabi I kind of made him a Tibetan one of the most notable and inspiring work that I've seen of his work from Muzaffar Nagar writes you know and there are particularly two images. One is a crowd of Muslim men offering the namaz, Eid namaz, and a young chap with a balloon, a set of balloons standing in the front. The other image that I think is image where this burial is taking place of all the victims who were killed during the, during the Muzaffar Nagar rites. This guy with his smile and with his Pakistan, he just played magic on people. He was a great guy. Extremely hardworking, organized, and never shy of any amount of work. Ravi was as perfect as one could imagine team member to be. I will miss him dearly and hope that he rests in peace for his left us way before his deadline. Mm -hmm.